Every now and then, I like to look at this diagram and just try to come up with explanations for why this looks so nasty. This is a lung, and you should think about why your lungs might look like this or how you could prevent your lungs from looking like this in the future. Well, here are some answers. Lung cancer is not actually the answer, but obviously the point was smoking. I hope you got that. So let's talk about two things, two ways to mess up your gas exchange system. Um, lots of causes. The main one is sneaking around in the back right here. So you can see some smoke. So obviously we're talking about cigarette smoking. I think most people know that that's bad for you but people still do it a lot and in some younger smoking countries younger smoking countries by that i mean people who countries where smoking wasn't around like 80 years ago like it's only happened in the last few decades you don't see a lot of these incidences of you know heavy lung cancer and all kinds of uh, other diseases like emphysema because the smoking population is still relatively young but don't worry when the time comes uh they're gonna get it it's horrible stuff Epidemiology is a fancy word for the study of diseases. So it's good. We have data now. We can see how different types of diseases are affecting people over time. And it tells us if our treatments or the health campaigns, our public service uh, announcements are actually having any effect. If cigarette companies with their ads, if they're having any effect, if the warning labels are having any effect on public health. So epidemiology is a great way to study these diseases, even for discovering if vaccines are having an effect as well too over time. That's what we need to do to see what the long-term effects of various practices are. It's part of the nature of science. We use correlation to determine the related factors, but remember, this is all the way back to the beginning. Uh, correlation, just because two variables have a, an R squared coefficient of 1.0 and it's a perfect correlation it doesn't necessarily mean that one is causing the other and you really need to investigate that further and no matter what you're doing so here we go causes of lung cancer really quickly you know a lot of this you're not going to forget smoking um, contains mutagens that can cause DNA to mutate and that can create tumors when you start messing with the genes that are controlling the cell cycle. So if those genes are turn, being turned off or some of them are being turned on when they're not supposed to be, you can basically mess up the cell cycle and the cell doesn't know when to stop dividing and that's what a tumor is. If those break off and start moving up to other parts of the body that's called metastasis and that can cause all kinds of issues so go back and watch a video about tumors and how tumors can actually kill people and what cancer actually is as well too uh, passive smoking if you're hanging around people who are smoking all the time you can still get that smoke in your eyes that's a song right anyways smoke gets in your lungs and then that can bother you as well too. Carcinogens are cancer-causing agents. Um, some kinds of air pollution can contain harmful things. Radon gas, which is a naturally uh, leaking source, can also has been linked to lung cancer as well too. So beware of places where they say radon gas leakage. Watch out for that. And asbestos still being used in some buildings and areas, but I think it's being used less. You got to watch out when people are tearing down a house. If you see people wearing masks, uh, don't go and explore that particular area because you're like, whoa, cool, an abandoned house. Uh, I wonder if they have asbestos that can cause lung cancer. Asbestos and silica, their dust has been shown uh, strong, not just correlation, but causation with uh, lung cancer. So that's one disease, and we're going to talk about emphysema in a second. You know what the consequences are of lung cancer. Difficulty breathing, coughing, coughing up blood, yucky, fatigue, chest pain, loss of appetite, weight loss as well too. Another such disease, and I made this cool little red post here. Isn't this neat how I put some lungs next to a sad face? There's cigarettes causing it and pollution causing it. Emphysema, another cool word. People don't remember that as much as alveoli though so anyways emphysema is a good word uh damaged cilia in the actual trachea actually this line should be pointed up towards here but there is some down here as well too leads to mucus buildup in the lungs so you've heard it before the people on the streets smoking or at home if your grandpa or grandma 
or or parents smoke that sound they make when they when they wake up i'm not gonna make it because it's gonna make me gag but you know that sound of coughing up all the phlegmy stuff there you go uh mucus buildup white blood cells get damaged they can't fight infection if you studied defense against disease already you understand the importance of white blood cells and uh, b cells and t cells and macrophages so that's not good and if you're likely to get infection in here then you get other types of kinds of respiratory diseases as well too wbc stands for white blood cells these white blood cells and inflamed cells also release a protein called trypsin which i know as an enzyme that can break down proteins in the stomach uh in the stomach acid mixed in with the stomach acid as well too but it can also because it digests proteins if your cells are releasing this in this particular area that's not good because you're going to start breaking down proteins and since a lot of our fibers in our body are made up of proteins you're actually destroying your own body tissue so as a result of fibers in the lungs getting broken down the walls in the alveoli are all curved to maximize surface area, but if those walls are breaking down, then the surface area is actually going to decrease. What does that mean? Now for every breath you take, isn't that a song too? Anyways, for every breath you take, I can't stop thinking about the song. For every breath you take, there's gonna be less oxygen that's gonna be able to diffuse through the walls. So you don't want that to happen. So how can you avoid that? Well, stay away from polluted areas and stop smoking. There you go. There's your public health service announcement from me. I think this is a really cute diagram. Look at that. Look at that guy. <laughs>